Okay. So, um, have a couple different sets of weights. If you'd like, um, we're going to be doing, let's see, one, two, three, four, hopefully five sets. Um, and the weighted stuff is going to be 20 reps. So that is 100 reps. So it will add up, but it's going to be a chest press and a tricep press. So that's the reason I kind of want some heavy weights available because we can go heavy. Um, this is our final week of our Strong for Summer. Someone actually just uh, brought to my attention yesterday um, that tomorrow is the fall equinox. So I did not even mean to like schedule it so well but we'll just be a few days over um, the official end of summer um, when we when we finish our Strong for Summer program. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, so yeah, I didn't even realize it's the equal amount of daylight and the equal amount of um, nighttime, <laughs> not daylight. Um, okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to have a, a couple little rounds of, a, of an official warm-up, and we'll go through that in a second. But we're going to do... Um, burpees and then we'll hit up 10 burpees and then we're going to hit up our 20 chest press um, butt ups so your chest press with your weights is going to be on the ground uh, you can put your hips down or hold them up just to chest press here for 20 your butt ups is a whole tuck and press so your head's going to stay on the ground and you press up if that doesn't work for you then you can go into a dead bug and extend behind. If you want to add a little resistance, you can always hold a weight while you're doing um, your dead bug. Then we'll do the tricep press, elbow squeeze in next to the side, and you just press your arms straight up and down. Again, if you want to hold your hips up, that's totally fine. And then we're going to do a runner sit up. So that's where you bring your elbows will be at the side like this. And you bring one leg up and then drop it down, and then the other. And those are going to be 10 each side. Okay. If you did the dead bug for the butt up, I'm gonna have you just uh, flip over and hit up a bird dog for your runner sit up alternate here. All right, then we're gonna do eight burpees and then go through the whole set, six, go through the whole set. So um, I'm not quite sure if we'll get all the way down to two burpees, but we're gonna try. Um, and then if you don't do a burpee, um, I would like for you to take a step back, touch the ground, then you're going to punch your arms up, step back, touch the ground, lift. If you want to add some resistance, you're welcome to take a light weight and kind of punch it up or press it out. But the biggest thing with a burpee, the thing that you're trying to emulate is heart rate up and core. So um, that's going to be it. All right, our official warm up. We'll go ahead and start. Just stand tall. Um, we're going to do a twist, a standing twist. So we're going to take the same side 10 times. So if you want to mirror me, we're going to twist to the left. Core strong, chest tall. Try to pull the arm across the knee. Eight, nine, and 10. Then the other side. Crunch. Three, chest stays tall. Seven, nine, and 10. Okay, then we're gonna do a standing oblique crunch. So just hinge to the side so you can hinge to the right and then pull elbow and knee together. Two. So combined with that oblique contraction, you're also kind of getting a stretch on that left side. Seven and ten. Then the other side. Extend, tuck. Make sure you're pulling to the side. Remember, with everything, it's not about getting from point A to point B and just rapid firing through your reps. It's about engaging, finding flexion, then getting through the move. All right, I lost my count. Let's go two more. And one. All right, then we're going to hit up our drinking bird. So whichever leg you would like to start on, hinge forward and then come up. If you need to tap the toe at the top, go for it. So reach your chest up off your rib cage and extend that back leg pretty strong back behind you. 
Squeeze those shoulder blades together and feel the flexion through that glute that you're pushing up out of while still holding flexion in that back leg. Last one here. And then we're gonna go to the other side. All right, after this, we are gonna start with those first set, that first set of burpees. So it is kind of a quick start. Make sure you're ready. Um, I'll kind of talk through, I forgot to talk through an official burpee at the beginning. So we'll go through that real quick. While I'm chatting, you keep warming up, hug those legs in, whatever. Last one, line that knee until. Okay, so for your burpee, what you want is, and, and the push-up can be optional, okay? You don't have to hit that push-up. But if you do, you plant your hands, let the whole body drop so your chest is on the ground. Squeeze the elbows in to push up, watching that you keep that nice, strong back. If you would like, you drop down and you can come up on your knees, which there's a pretty high likelihood that I will be for the 10 or even the eight. All right, so with that, let's go. We have 10. Drop down, squeeze those elbows in. So remember, biggest thing here is the core and cardio. There's six. Tuck that tailbone under. Squeeze the elbows in. One more. 10. All right. Bringing it down. We're going to go to that chest press. Like I said, challenge your weight. If you have light weights, just uh, run your weight lifting a little faster and get a few more reps. All right. Hips come up. Set in, set in your form first. Don't rush into it. Elbows open wide and then press it up. Here's two. Push the hips up if you would like. If the hips are in the ground, you really focus on that pelvic tuck and keeping the core strong. Nine. Push with that chest. Slide those shoulder blades down your spine. There's a full extension at the top, but try not to lock out your elbows. That's it. Three to go. Two. And one. All right. Set those down, and then we're gonna do our butt ups. So you're gonna take a full tuck and press. Lower the legs just till you have that low back staying in the ground. Three. Grab with that core. See if you can get those hips all the way up over those shoulders. The way eight using that full core and ten. Okay, if you'd like, hips go back up. Now we're in a tricep press. So your palms face one another, elbows drop next to the ribs, and then press up. So really watch here that the wrists stay over your elbows. Seven, feel the triceps. Hopefully you guys are feeling your triceps from yesterday, I was. <laughs> Core strong, think about what's going on in the rest of the body. Keep space between your ears and shoulders. Eighteen, nineteen, wrist stay strong, twenty. Okay, 
We're going to set up for our runner sit up, or you can do a dead bug or a bird dog. Elbows in, pull the self up. Make sure you get your low back in all the way down and all the way up. So a lot of times we let that, we let the core go and we reset up at the bottom, kind of flinging ourselves to the top. But you want to keep the flexion tight the whole time. Feel like you're scooping the belly to contract and lift as opposed to just flexing and punching it up. Here's eight, nine, ten. All right. One done. Feeling pretty good. We're at our eight burpees or your alternate. Here we go. Squeeze those elbows in. Here's six. Flexing through those glutes will help keep that core intact. Whew. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I felt the arms that time. Here we go. Lie it down. We're sticking with our 20. Chest press. Your choice if you want the hips up or down. So remember, we are in a challenge week. Meaning, try to sling those heavy weights or your heavy reps. Seriously, don't worry about it if you don't have heavy weight. But work a little faster and work for more reps. But we want to see progress, progression. After last week, which is kind of a setback chill week, this week we have the energy to push and challenge. Core strong, next day's relaxed. Get your wrists out with the elbows. I have three left. And one. Whew. Okay. You can also get halfway through with your heavy reps and then switch up to lighter. Okay, butt ups, swing and lift. Take a minute to really push and the best part of this move is the return right here. Use the core to lift. But then catch with that core as well. Hold. It's like you're resisting gravity. Anytime that you can flex a little deeper to resist gravity, two more. That's where you're building the most muscle. Last one. Okay. To our triceps. Breaks are good. Facilitate the better next move. Slide those hips up. So before you start, check in. Make sure the body's set and ready, core strong. Wrists over the elbows. There's one. Two. Make just a teeny little curve. Arch at the top. The elbows squeeze in tight. Use the back and the core to support. It's easy to forget about your belly when your hips are up like this. So keep the front engaged. Okay, I'm feeling it. Whew. Six to go. Breathe with your effort. So on the press. Three more. 
Don't worry about what's coming. Stay in the moment. Last one. Whew. All right. Then we have our runner sit-ups. Tuck it in. I'm going to go 10 on one side and 10 on the other this time. Last time we alternated. You can do whatever you'd like. Or you can hit up your dead bug, bird dog. All of us flex deep into that core. Deep, deep. Don't just get through the move. Eight, nine, ten. Other side. Halfway. Big pull. Nine and ten. All right. Flip it over. I'm going to take a quick child's pose. We have six burpees. Remember your lunge, your quick lunge switch to arms up. That's your alternate. All right, six. Here we go. Definitely on my knees. <laughs> my triceps are done. Try to get that jump at the top if you can. Only one left. Six. Okay. Rolling it down. I'm going to switch it up for weight wise. Hips come up. Still have 20 reps. Ready, go. Now, with this, you can definitely be smart with your reps, right? If 20 isn't good for you anymore, or maybe even from the beginning, that's okay. Our goal is not to kill the body or injure it, it's to just push that line, push that limit, keep it safe and healthy, but find the challenge. Grab that core, push the hips, Last five. Five. The weights come up right over that chest. Three. Feel the chest do the work. And one. That right there, that builds strength for our push ups when we go to those. Okay, ready, set, hitting those butt ups. One. Grab that low belly. Two. Our hands are there to support. But try not to push in them very much. Five. Seven. Here's a nine. And ten. Good work. So definitely traditionally, you know, we kind of hit up three sets of 10 or 15 reps, okay? We're back to our tricep press, elbow squeeze in and go. 20 reps. So, you know, if you're doing three sets of 10, that's 30 reps. And here today, we're, we're pushing into the hundreds for a couple different things. So if it's not safe for your body, then it's not worth it. However, find your challenge. <laughs> That's a nice thing about being in person. You can kind of see what people are doing around you and realize, you know what? I think I can challenge myself. But emotionally and mentally, it's actually very healthy if you can find that within yourself, right? Your intrinsic motivation. Nobody's watching you. And can you push yourself for yourself? Five, four, three, two. Open that chest, squeeze between the shoulder blades, and one. All right. Here we go. Those runner sit ups. I'm going to go back to alternating. 
Get that low back and touch with the ground. Don't forget the twist. Sometimes I can get lost in the legs and I forget about my twist. Eight, nine, ten. Okay. Only four burpees. Here we go. Plant those hands. Jump back. In and up. Woo! Done. It's nice to check those off fast. Okay. Coming back down. I'm going to try another heavy set. 20 chest press, hips are up if you want, and go. As you fatigue, you've really got to focus on those stabilizing muscles. It takes extra work to contract them, but we need them. Uh, keep that long neck. Don't contract in the neck, halfway. Here's 11. <sighs> 14. <sighs> Push with that chest. Hands come up right over the chest. <sighs> Two more. <sighs> Last one. Whew. Okay, I can say with confidence. That's my last good rep. Okay, tuck the legs, press it up. Try to find that low belly. You catch that low belly with that pull and press. Five. Three more. Nine. Woo. Ah. Ten. All right. Coming up. Tricep press. Push the hips up. Remember, get your set first and go. There's four, you're in control, all the way up, all the way down. Nine, 10, 10 to go. Keep those wrists strong and right over the elbows. You got it. Here's 16, 18, 19, and 20. All right. For dog, dead bug, or runner sit-ups. Ready, pull. Get that twist. Four. If you're not getting all the way up, don't worry about it. Just keep trying. You'll get there. Ah, three to go. Big twist. Nine. And ten. Woo, all right, we have totally enough time. Last set, two burpees. Jump it back, press it up. Be in charge of that core. All right, two burpees. And now we have our chest press. I'm gonna go my lighter set for chest and then I'll add in for triceps. See how it goes. Get your set up, open wide. Two, three.
stay in touch with what's going on, that chest press, but stay connected with everything else. Halfway, always connect with your core and upper back. You're training different muscles to flex and help you get where you're going. That's good. Everything should support in that muscular system. Four, three, two, and one. All right, no more chest press for today. We made it 100 reps. Tuck it in, push the butt up. One, two, three. You're in charge, stay in control. Five, six, eight, last two, make them perfect, tuck, press. Ooh, I really felt the low belly on that one. Focus. Ten. It's crazy. When you set in and focus on what you want to grab, you can get it. All right, let's hit up last round, tricep press. Hips can go up if you'd like, core strong. Here we go, press one, two, there's 10. Strong core. Five. Come on. Seven. Eighteen. Nineteen. Keep those wrists over the elbows. Ugh, Twenty. Ugh. Yes. One hundred tricep press. Okay, here we go. Roll it back. Tuck it up. Those runner sit-ups. Or the dead bug. Don't forget that twist. So we got seven. Scoop that low belly. Ten. And 10. Woo! All right. For our stretch, flip it over. Fantastic work. Okay, curl your toes under, sit on the back of them, and then grab your hands behind. Open that chest. Left ear, left shoulder. Right ear, right shoulder. Face you. All right, and then we're going to plant your right hand down, bring your left arm up over, and then swing it all the way around, just whatever kind of works for you. So you're going to get that stretch to the shoulder and the chest. Okay, now your left arm down, bring your right arm over, and then swing it around and behind. One more time each side. Lean, swing around behind, and down. Got more range that time. That's what we want. Lean over the body, then bring it behind you and around and down. Okay, we're gonna hit up a child's pose. Big toes together, knees nice and wide, hinge back. Bring your arms into a prayer hand. So hands in a prayer can or attach together in front of you. Your forehead's on the ground, and then bring your thumbs behind your head reaching to the nape of your neck, back of your neck, and then kind of walk your elbows forward a little more and then press into the ground. You should feel those triceps stretch. Settle in, let it relax. All right, and then we're gonna come forward and hit up our scorpion stretch. 
We don't get a ton of stretch in these videos all the time, so hopefully you're grabbing some more later on your own or other stretch videos. Flip over that right arm. So your right arm is at a 90 degree angle from your body. And then your left leg is gonna slide behind you and twist you over. So you get a stretch in your chest, shoulder on that right side, and then in the back, usually as well. And then rotate back to the ground. Wiggle yourself over to the other side of your mat. And then the left arm's out. Push that right leg over behind you. Plant the right foot on the ground. See if you can rest the left side of your head on the floor. Kind of use that right hand, push you over. Make sure you're stretching before you feel like you need it. Then you can always keep coming back. Keep that stretch going. It's what keeps us going. All right, push into those hands. We're gonna come all the way up. Hinge over those legs. Try to press your chest toward your thighs. And then come all the way up. All right, good work.